Yeah, a few, few things to think about. Uh, you know, first of all, what's your budget? Um, what, what style of a hunt are you, are you looking for? Are you looking for a backpack hunt? Are you looking for a horseback hunt? Are you looking for a truck hunt? Um, a side-by-side -side hunt? Um, uh, a super remote or, you know, an accessible hunt? Another thing to take into consideration, I guess, would be, you know, what, uh, what, what, what type of animals are you looking to hunt? What, what trophy quality are you looking for? Yeah, some, some, some guys are looking for meat hunts. Um, you know, like southern, some of the southern BC outfits or, or the, the central BC guys are, you know, providing meat hunts. Um, you know, and we, and we, get, a, we get a fair number of guys that, you know, they, it's, it's still a trophy hunt, but the, you know, the meat is part of the trophy for them too, right? And so, you know, we've been, we've been getting a fair number of guys that drive up for that reason, which is good. We, we like that. What style of hunt do you provide? Uh, what, what style of hunt can I expect? Um, you know, what, uh, what is your success rate? What is, um, what is your, what is your, your quality of game in your area? Um, what type of accommodations can I expect? What's the food going to be like? Um, what is the, what is the crew like? Yeah, I think uh, avoiding disappointment is having uh, the right expectations and, you know, asking some of the right questions to your outfitter and, and being clear with, with what you're looking for and um, knowing, you know, this is, this is what I want and the style of hunt that the outfitter provides and uh, the quality of animals that he provides. Knowing what your expectations are, what you're looking for, and, and finding an outfitter that can provide that for you. That's gonna give you your best opportunity to have the hunt that you're looking for.